Hello everyone, welcome to Taiso Design Tutorials. Today we will learn how to create seamless pattern in Adobe Illustrator. So this is the pattern I have made in Illustrator. Uh, you can use the elements, use the vector from any website like Google or Freepik or you can make the elements on your own also. So these are the vectors and I have made the pattern out of it. So we will start with the tutorial. So first of all what we have to do is we have to make the pattern on a square. So the size is 8.5 to 8.5 inches. Okay. So now the elements which are coming on the edge of the artboard have to be copy pasted and pasted on the bottom side. Vice versa. And the elements which are coming on this side have to be pasted on the left side. So we will begin with this first element. I will select this and I will copy this Ctrl C on the keyboard and I will paste it Ctrl Shift V to paste in place. Okay. Now I will go to transform panel. If you do not find the transform panel on the right side, you can go to the window and select the transform panel like this and it will appear here. Okay. Now what I will do. Uh, so this is the Y axis. I will click here and add 8.5 inches because I want this element on the bottom side and the size of my artboard is 8.5 inches so i will plus 8.5 and click on enter so you can see the flower has been pasted nicely on the bottom side so i will do this again for this one now control c for copy and for paste in place you can do control shift v or you can also go to edit and paste in place okay so i will select this and go to y axis transform y axis plus 8.5 okay so i will repeat the process for the other two elements plus 8.5 click on enter again control c control shift v and plus 8.5 okay now for this elements on the x axis Select this, Control C, Control Shift V, and go to X axis and subtract 8.5 inches because I want this on the left side. Again, for this, Control C, Control Shift V, minus 8.5. And for this element, Control C, Control Shift V, Control C, Control Shift V, subtract 8.5. Again for the flower, Control C, Control Shift V. minus 8.5 okay so we are done with this now i will select all the elements and i will group them okay now i will make a square 
of 8.5 8.5 to 8.5 inches select M on the keyboard and draw it Okay, then change the color. I need a lighter color. Now get yellow shade. Click on OK. Now I will make a copy of this. Control C, Control Shift V, and I will arrange this to back. One layer in the front and one layer and back. Okay. Now what I will do, I will select this and select my layer and I will make clipping mask. Now my pattern has been made. So it has come out really well. So beautiful it has come. So I will make a copy of this also. So uh, that uh, my design is not corrupted. And if I want any changes, I can make it easily. And my uh, original file will not be affected. So I will select this and click on Alt and make a copy of this. Okay. So now I have to make this pattern and uh, add it to my swatches panel. So I will uh, select this. And go to Pathfinder. You can find in the windows also. And here it is Pathfinder. And I will select this crop option. Now all my elements will be selected. It will take some time. Now I will go to window and select swatches and I now I will drag this to swatches panel like this. And my pattern has been added to the swatches panel. So like this you can make a pattern, seamless pattern. Now uh, if you want to check you can select M on the keyboard and draw like this and select the swatch that we have made recently. See how beautiful it has come. You can increase the size. Scale option transform and scale. So if you want to scale the elements to a bigger size or a smaller size what you have to do right click and go to transform and go to scale now you can uh, preview it and decrease the size transform objects and just Just uh, unclick this transform objects and click on this transform patterns. So you can see your uh, elements have been reduced. I will set to 68% and preview this. So how nicely it has come out. The pattern is really nice. I think uh, you can uh, do this 
with any sort of designs any sort of patterns so that's it for today's tutorial bye bye till then